out of the 23 years of living on Earth, it's my first time in Reading and we're gonna check out what's around here. It's a beautiful station and it's fancy. It reminds me of Whitechapel Station and on the bridge um, married and made a child. This is, um, this is what the station looks like and reminds me of what it looks like, yeah. I see toilets on the other side of the station. Actually, there's toilets up here. All right, I use the toilet and then we'll see what's around. Obviously, I'm out of London, so the buses are not red like the ones in London. Uh, just past uh, quite a huge uh, high street and I just past the little market around here. It's, it's pretty nice around here and the sun's out plus meaning that there's uh, all, everyone's out today. Nothing strange happens in this area. Nothing strange. Everyone knows about Canary Wharf, Royal Wharf, Imperial Wharf, but in Reading there's a Huntley Wharf. My favorite color is red, but that red on that car is super, super cool. I forgot to mention with the sun now, it's, it's pretty hot and I've already started to sweat. And it's a bit cool, but the sun out, it's, it's, it's hot, pretty hot. Not, not pretty hot, but like kind of hot. But, but it's better in the shade, so you can get the coolness. Also the red on these two cars as well. Oh my gosh, it's, oh, it's beautiful. More than beautiful, uh, this, I can't find a word for it. It's a shame that most rivers in the UK have gone all green, you know, you know, not, not clear blue. Um, I have different reasons why I think about, uh, on how it became green. So one, the rain has lots of chemicals, went into the water and made it all green. Two, it came from all the toilets that people use, including myself, uh, in the UK, or three, People have been dumping a lot of, I don't want to swear, rubbish in, in, the, in the water, which made it all greenish. And, well, <laughs> done toilet stuff in the river. Where you want to go, go, you got to go, but these animals live in the water, and with this like, greenish water, it's unsafe for the animals. But let me know down in the comments what you, what you think on how the water became, what most of us became green. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. I'm obviously at Beach Bar, which I'll show you now. I found the University of... Uh, I found this University of Reading. It's not London though, but it is London Road. Also, I passed London Street, which is not far from here, on the way here. But Reading's not in London, but it's in the UK. Your wedding is out of London, out of the city of London, but it is in the UK. But it's in England, yeah. Yeah. Just found a huge park, whether it be like a fun fair, um, a fun fun fair happening, probably this weekend. Uh, and that's it now, that's our May half term. That's where the fun fair will be happening down there. And this is what the park looks like. It's huge. I'm just walking through this shady area. Well, it's not, <laughs> not, that, not, that, not that kind of shady, but like, it's nice and cool. And there's a bridge. This day where trains pass, uh, that way to Reading, and then that way towards London. Uh, yeah. I just saw, GV, I saw a GW, GWR service pass through here. Uh, I see two minutes ago from that, yeah. Watching the game on camera because I didn't, I didn't know when it was going to pass through. I've been hearing noises that make it sound like as if a train is coming um, on the tracks right there. But it turns out to be cars and trucks um, running on highways. Uh, it's really going to be really hard to find out when the train is actually coming. A train just passed me on the other side of the bridge. The bridge behind me here is the highway bridge where the cars and vehicles pass. Found this footpath which leads to uh, a house, or I believe another part of the neighbourhood in Wokingham. And there's a park, which did say, which is part of the town council. I 
It's a park. Uh, small park. Shut and sliced off and locked. Oh. I think this is part. Oh, I think I just found another park. This is another park. Hmm. The bridge I just passed is the London Road Shepherd's House Overbridge and it's 33 meters I think? Is it? The M means meters and 46 inches CH? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, this is the bridge. It's pretty, pretty tall. Coming up to a roundabout and it looks like I'm going towards the Maidenhead. Oh. There's uh, Woolies that way, and then Sonning is that way, and that's the roundabout. Yeah. It's, yeah. I think that's the roundabout, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. I found a sneaky entrance to a park, and I see football goals there. Oh, it's a pretty big park. No one's even here. Well, look at this. Whoa. Oh, wow. There's also another sneaky entrance to the park. That way goes to Sunning. Up ahead, uh, that way, Maidenhead. Or uh, Woolly. And somewhere over there goes to Woolly. Just had another train coming from uh, that side. Uh, on my way back to Reading. Four miles. I don't know how many, how many of that is in kilometers, but it's a long way. I saw a beautiful view of Reading, like I was on a hill, and then I saw like Reading, like a bit far ahead. So it's gonna be a long walk. Might be there at half six or six p.m. Might be half six. Yeah. But it's a nice walk. I didn't show you much, but it's nice. Yeah. Nice walk. It's nice around here too. Like the quiet areas are nice. It's calm. And it's, it's swishy because the cars on the high street uh, on here. Yeah. It's still beautiful out. Blue sky, no clouds. Wonderful. Well, the neighborhood is lovely. It's nice to live here. It's a good thing I, I uh, went away from the busy areas of the shopping high street. Uh, which is where Reading Station is. Um, I didn't plan to do this, so I had to go to quite quite space, but it's good for me as an autistic person. Um, yeah, to find peace. Uh, when I find peace, I'm happy. But if I don't find peace, I'm not happy, and I get so anxious and overwhelmed. Um, yeah, let's see what's up ahead. There's so many roads here <laughs> in Reading. <laughs> There's so many roads. Warren Road, London Road, it's Bath Road, there's no streets. Well, I did pass South Street. And the other streets, yeah, it's South Street. And then the other, the other places were roads. Yeah, so many roads. I think I got it wrong. It might be four miles by bike. Another train just passed around there, uh, which means I'm cl probably close to where I was early in this video where I showed you that guy's that bridge. I've been passing streets, avenues, and different roads, finally. There's the bridge, and there's the park I was at early in this video. Another train just passed through here, and it's a freight line train. And I was slowly leaving a station, me and I'm close to Reading Station. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I just realized I went around in a circle, but in an interesting circle, not a funny circle line like the one I did at Southall. When exploring Southall, yeah. Um, we found quieter places, greener spaces, uh, bridges, hall hallways, <laughs> uh, high streets, highways, 
um, busy roads, not much buses and trains, but yeah. I'm thinking about exploring um, oh my train. All right. Uh, if you guys like the video, don't forget, don't forget to give it a give a giddy up. If you disliked it, don't forget to give it a giddy down. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Or yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye. And happy Friday night. Have the best weekend of your life and the best half term this month. Bye. Come back!